Hello friends! Today we are excited to try the snowshoes for the first time and see if it really works and helps walking in the snow. We are in Port Pimaren and are planning to hike to the lake Pont Viva and back. We'll see if we can do it. It's gonna be fun, let's go! Have you ever wondered what it's like to walk in snowshoes and whether it's worth a try? Well, in this video we show you our own experience of walking in snowshoes, share the first impressions and difficulties that we faced along the way, and talking about the pros and cons of wearing them. Hope that you learned something new and enjoy the scenery of the beautiful Purpy Moran. planning this trip we were afraid that there will be no snow or little snow and we won't be able to film this video because why bother to rent snowshoes when there is no snow <laughs> but there is a snow and we're doing it so that's great let's go very nice today very warm almost spring like and on the, on the snow you have like cover of frost so maybe it helps to walk in snowshoes as well but yeah very bright <laughs> happy that we brought the googles because without the googles we'll be dead <laughs> of the sunlight has been so far that it's pretty unusual and uncomfortable to walk 
and it's a kind of something prevents you from walking actually not that it helps a lot but I guess it's like with all new things it just needs time to get used to and on the flat surface to be honest we didn't feel like it helps a lot but now as we're starting to hike uphill probably we'll feel the difference let's see if it's the same That's gonna be fun. It's been pretty extreme, but it's a good lesson to know that it's not recommended to walk on the steep cliffs or steep uphills in the snowshoes, obviously. We didn't know that before, but obviously you can't, because it's kind of your snowshoe stuck in the snow and it blocks your leg from moving and you kind of, yeah, you are afraid that you can break your leg. And well, I was like taking it off. <laughs> And yeah, and you, you saw it already. <laughs> yeah, it's not a good experience, but well, the sticks help uh, a lot when you're walking on a steep cliff and overall when you're walking on the deep snow, in the deep snow, but um, uh, again, if you are walking on a very steep cliff, it doesn't help. <laughs> so not recommended to, to walk on these cliffs. It's more on to walk on the kind of calm paths, food paths, with the deep snow, okay, it helps uh, to walk on the snow. You don't come down so much as you will without snowshoes. But again, if you're walking in the remote paths when there's no one to walk and it's not flat, wow, well, you saw it. <laughs> it's not very good. Well, let's continue.
also we found out that in order to walk more comfortably in the shoes so that the leg doesn't tense too much in this area so it's kind of when you're walking you let the leg come up naturally how it will be when you're normally walking so it's kind of a bit hanging and so you prevent the tension in here because otherwise it's kind of gets too much it's kind of pain well, you walk more comfortably that way model of our snowshoe it's pretty basic so how it's made there's straps to fix the leg here you can kind of move it um, to make the size of your shoe and well here you fix it so that you can move it fix it back it's pretty easy to get in here when you kind of already the platform and it's your size so it's very easy to get in here just stick it here your boot and then fix it here you can see it's very easy fix it here you're good to go so it's kind of easy to unwrap and then to fasten it back that's it well here you have the spikes also in the front you can see it here and in the back as well some spikes so maybe it's good for walking in on the ice and slippery surfaces so that's it so the day is over now and we are ready to share our final thoughts on walking in the snow in snowshoes so what do you think of it what are your impressions i mean personally i think uh, to go with snowshoes in a mountain it's uh, quite hard 
Yeah, especially on the steep hills and walking sideways, it's impossible. Maybe part of the reason was because uh, the hardness of the snow is kind of confusing. It's got the frost cover on the top and then you kind of can dive in very deeply suddenly. So you, you don't know where to step, yeah. maybe. But we just want to make a point here that you can't just get on the snowshoes and walk on any surface. It doesn't work like that. You have to get some practice, some days. It was just our first day, so we can't be experts here. But anyway, we think that the best use of the snowshoes can be get on the flat surface, uh, on the good foot uh, footpaths, and not on the remote paths. You know, like with the steep cliffs, as we said, it's it's very hard. Yeah, <laughs> so it's better not to try. Yeah, but when it's deep snow, fluffy snow, I think it helps a lot not to dive in deep. So it's it's a good use of it. Also, it doesn't prevent uh, your legs from wetness, so be aware of that. And the sticks do help, especially if you're walking uphill or downhill, because it prevents you from falling down, so it's, it's, it's a good one. But on the flat surface, not so much. Anyways, it was our first experience with the snowshoes and our first impressions video, where we share our personal opinion. We really hope that you enjoyed it and try it for yourself and leave us a comment below sharing your story, we would love to hear from you. Now we're gonna get back, give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. See you next time. Bye.